so now we will talk about some individual sterilization techniques which are very commonly asked in the university exams so uh, among all the sterilization processes the first what we have is the dry heat sterilization which is also called as the hot air oven and on which concept does it work so this hot air oven works on the concept of dry heat sterilization okay so this acts on a concept of dry heat sterilization so uh, first we have to give the introduction so in introduction you can write that this is a physical method uh, which works on the concept of the dry heat sterilization and this is used for the materials uh, which may get damaged by the moist heat and which are impermeable to moist heat so generally we prefer the autoclave which is a moist heat technique for sterilization but in certain uh, uh, instruments or certain materials where the moist heat may be damaging to that product or dam that uh, instrument uh, and if the product or the uh, material is impermeable to moist heat then we have to use this hot air oven method which is equally uh, effective in sterilizing the uh, material or the instrument so the materials which are uh, sterilized by this hot air oven methods so uh, have should have this uh, criteria okay those uh, who are uh, or which are damaged by the moist heat and those which are impermeable to moist heat are sterilized by this hot air oven method now so uh, this hot air oven method is used for sterilization of the glassware flasks test tubes powder sharp instruments and all so these are all the uses i mean these are all the instruments to or the materials which are sterilized by this very commonly sterilized by this dry heat sterilization or the hot air oven method so what is the component of the hot air oven the component of the hot air oven is a sterilizing chamber and a heating element in the wall of the chamber and a fan is there so suppose if this is a chamber okay this will be a three dimensional chamber like this this is a three dimensional chamber it looks like uh, somewhat like this and uh, in the walls in the walls in all the walls it has got in all the walls it has got some electrical wiring okay in all the uh, how many walls six walls are there so in all the six walls there is heating element in the wall of the chamber and inside the and uh, in the in in the um, chamber there are many partitions made like this and there are also some fans which can distribute the hot air throughout the chamber okay so this is the component uh, these are the components of the dry heat sterilizer or the hot air oven a uh, sterilizing chamber is there he, uh, heating uh, electrical elements are there in the wall of the chamber and a fan is there to distribute the hot air throughout the chamber now the principle uh, is the principle we all know that the principle is a dry heat method so the principle is that the dry heat causes denaturation of the proteins and oxidative damage of the cell constituents so by this method it destroys the organisms what is the mechanism uh, of uh, working of this hot air sterilizer so the mechanism of working is that the heating element is heated by electricity we know that the heating element is throughout implanted in the walls of the chamber so when electricity is supplied the uh, the heating element gets heated and therefore the air which is inside the chamber also gets heated then we have fan also inside that that fan eventually or uh, evenly distributes the hot air throughout the chamber as a result equal temperature occurs everywhere in every corner of the chamber and whatever substance or material or uh, instrument uh, uh, kept inside the chamber that will be sterilized so by the oxidative damage to the organisms over the surface of materials or the instruments those organisms are killed on those surfaces and the material is sterilized so uh, for this method or for this uh, way or technique of uh, sterilizing the objects or the instruments we have got three cycles any one of them we can use so if we are operating this system at 170 degree then we have to run it for one hour okay 
if we are uh, using 160 degree centigrade then we have to run it for two hour and if we are using the 150 degree centigrade then we have to run it for 2.5 hours so this is the variation in the temperature and the time okay any any one of these three can be used right if we if we want to do it quickly then we have to keep the instrument at 170 degree for one hour if we have time then we will keep it at 150 degree for 2.5 hours so uh, based on that we can use any one of this cycle now coming to the advantage and disadvantage of this hot air oven method the advantage of the hot air oven method that there is no harm to environment we know it is working on electricity there is no production of uh, any gases or uh, any um, uh, burning or anything nothing happens like that so there is no harm to environment because it is fully working on the electricity again there is low cost because all the components are very easily available so cost is very low for preparation or for making such types of instruments then it is non corrosive for metals again here we do not have moist any type of moist moist is not there it is purely using dry heat so there is no corrosiveness for metal okay metals are not corroded here again the disadvantage of this method is that it is using very high temperature see here 170 degree 160 or 150 these are very high temperature and these temperatures are sometimes not suitable for uh, certain materials such as plastic materials or certain uh, similar substances so in th those cases we cannot use this hot air oven method for sterilization technique okay now we have to know whether the sterilizing sterilizing machine is working proper or not okay so we have to use the sterilization control so what type of control do we use we use the spores of the bacillus atrophius remember the name bacillus atrophius okay what is the meaning of this control so uh, once the machine has been prepared then we will keep the spores these spores inside the uh, inside that uh, uh, hot air oven and we will run it for any one of these cycles and then we will see whether the spore is spore has been dead or live if it has been dead that means the machine is working completely well if the spores are live then we can say that the machine is not working up to the point so in that case we have to modify the machine okay modify the hot air oven so that's why it is used as that's how it is used as a control in case of auto uh, sorry in case of hot air oven okay so this is all about the hot air oven oven uh, technique or um, um, of sterilization physical methods of sterilization so whenever the question is asked you have to write in these following points that's all about the hot air oven